Hello my dears, welcome to today's video. In this video, you will learn a new topic named as adverbs. What are adverbs? Adverbs are the words or group of words which can add to the meaning of a verb. Or you can define in such a manner, words or group of words which can modify the sense of a verb, adjective or another adverb are called adverbs. Let us know some examples of adverbs. The tube light has been glowing continuously. She ran fast to catch the train. Thank you very much for your help. His work is almost complete. Here are the words continuously, fast, very, almost are all adverbs. Kinds of adverbs. Adverbs of place. Adverbs of time. Adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of affirmation. Adverbs of negation. Adverbs of reason. Adverbs of manner. Adverbs of degree. And adverbs of extent. Let us first to see what are adverbs of place? Adverbs of place are the words which show where an action takes place. For example, My little brother followed me everywhere. The horse galloped away with its rider. Parrots lay eggs in their nests. The stuntman performed on the stage. Place the ladder against the wall. Here are the words everywhere, away, in nests, on the stage, against the wall are all adverbs of place. Points to remember. Adverbs of place satisfy the question where. For example, where did my little brother follow me? Where did the horse gallop with its rider? Where does parrot lay eggs? Where did the stuntman perform? Let us know adverbs of time. The words which indicate the time when an action takes place are called adverbs of time. For examples, he has not seen this dance before. She received a message from him recently. Beautiful flowers bloom in the spring season. The sun shines brightly at morning. These students have been learning salsa for months. Here the words before, recently, in the spring season, at morning, for months, are the examples of adverbs of time. Points to remember. Adverbs of time satisfy the question by when or what time. For example, when he has not seen this dance, when did she receive a message from him? Adverbs of frequency. These are the words which indicate the frequency at which an action takes place. For examples, he visits museum regularly. Public never liked to hear lies. The dancer hardly took a breath. Suresh usually cleans his house in evenings. You should take this medicine twice a day. Hear the words regularly never, hardly, usually, twice a day are all adverbs of frequency. Points to remember. Adverbs of frequency satisfy the question how frequently. For example, how frequently he visits museum. How frequently public like to hear lies. How frequently did the dancer take a breath? Let us know 
adverbs of affirmation an adverb that affirms a statement is called adverb of affirmation for examples he can certainly take my bike on a ride she is going to attend the rally by all means of course he is happy yes it has arrived perhaps she is right here the word certainly by all means of course yes perhaps are all adverbs of affirmation adverbs of negation an adverb that negates a statement is called adverb of negation for examples he is certainly not crazy to risk his life they are not at all happy no i have not won the competition by no means will she do so she is not at all working here the word certainly not not at all no by no means not at all are all adverbs of negation let us know adverbs of reason the words or group of words which indicate the reason or cause behind an action being or quality are called adverbs of reason let us see some examples rohini worked hard so she won the first prize there were pits on the roads hence we took u turn the child was bleeding therefore he was hospitalized he was at fault that is why he was punished here the word so hence therefore that is why are all adverbs of reason some points to remember adverbs of reason indicate the answers to the questions why due to what because of what reason mostly an adverb of reason appears at the start of a sentence let's proceed to adverbs of manner adverbs of manner are the words or group of words which explain the style or fashion in which an action takes place for examples the woman sets all books correctly all celebrate all the festivals peacefully the little girl faced the robber fearlessly the man guards the house bravely prem ran fast to win the race here the words correctly peacefully fearlessly bravely and fast are all adverbs of manner points to remember answer to the questions how in what manner style fashion way constitute the adverbs of manner for examples how does the woman set all books how do all celebrate all the festivals how did the little girl face the robber let us know adverbs of degree or extent adverbs of degree or extent are the words which show the degree or the extent of adjectives used in the sentences for examples they are quite happy to be there the box was too heavy to be moved the father looked somewhat surprised at his daughter's behavior the people was almost mad with joy here the words quite too somewhat and almost are all adverbs of degree or extent 
points to remember. Adverbs of degree or extent satisfy the question to what degree or extent. By appearing before the adjectives, they ultimately add to the meanings of the verbs. Let us proceed to interrogative adverbs. Adverbs that ask questions related to time, place, manner, frequency, reason, etc. are called interrogative adverbs. For examples, how fast can he run? Here the word represents manner. Where is Mount Everest located? Here the word were represents place. How often does she visit you? Here the word how represents frequency. Why did he do this? Here the word why represents a reason. When did the mishap occur? Here the word when represents time. Points to remember. Interrogative adverbs can be words or group of words including wh words. Let us know last type of adverb that is relative adverbs. Adverbs that act as connectives joining two sentences while conveying something or making a query to time, place, manner, degree, etc. are called relative adverbs. For examples, that is the place where she lives. Here the word where represents place. Tell her how efficient she is. Here the word how represents degree. He is not sure when he will come. Here the word when represents time. She knows how regularly those volunteers pitch into help. Here the word how represents frequency. I hope that my dear students, you are getting this concept. If you have any query, please don't hesitate to comment it. Let us know some commonly used simple adverbs. You can see here kinds of adverbs and common adverbs. For the place, you use words like near, above, below, then, up, down, outside, far, everywhere, etc. Time, every day, tomorrow, lately, daily, formerly, late, immediately, presently, now, etc. Frequency, usually, never, often, frequently, mostly, sometimes, again, once, twice, hardly, barely, etc. Affirmation or negation, perhaps, certainly, by all means, surely, of course, yes, no, by no means, not at all, etc. Reason, because, as, for, due to, because of, etc. Manner, surely, confidently, beautifully, probably, slowly, well, hard, conveniently, etc. And lastly, extent or degree, fully, scarcely, much, very, too, little, a little, quite, enough, partly, somewhat, almost, etc. So my dear, that's all in this video. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you want to get to detailed notes, please visit my website www.edusector.com. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Until, take care. Bye-bye.